Math 5 Quarter 1 Week 4 Lesson 2 Milk Base Let's learn about Solves real-life problems involving GCF and LCM of 2 to 3 given numbers Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! Our lesson in math is about Solves real-life problems involving GCF and LCM of 2 to 3 given numbers. After going through with this lesson, you are expected to Solve real-life problems involving GCF, common multiple, and LCM of 2 to 3 numbers. Hello kids! Today, you will learn about solving real-life problems Involving GCF and LCM of 2 to 3 given numbers. We will move on to our first activity, learning task 1. Determine the number if it is a multiple of another number. Number 1, 72. 72 is divisible of what numbers? Correct! 72 is divisible of 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, and 12. Number 2, 472. 472 is divisible of what numbers? Correct! It is divisible of 2, 4, and 8. Number 3, 960. 960 is divisible of what numbers? Correct! It is divisible of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Number 4, 220. 220 is divisible of what numbers? Correct! It is divisible of 2, 4, 5, 10, and 11. And number 5, 828. 828 is divisible of what numbers? Correct! It is divisible of 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, and 12. In this lesson, try to apply what you have learned in divisibility rules, GCF and LCM. Read and analyze the problem. A lighthouse flashes its light every 12 minutes. Another lighthouse flashes every 18 minutes. If the two lighthouse flashes together at 10 o'clock noon, at what time will they next flash together? To answer the problem, use the rules in getting the LCM. Step 1, write the numbers in horizontal line. 12 minutes and 18 minutes. 12 and 18 are divisible by 2. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. Then repeat step 1. 6 and 9 are divisible by 3. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. And 9 divided by 3 equals 3. And now the last step is multiply. 2 times 3 times 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 times 2 times 3 equals 36. Therefore, the time of the next flush together at 10.36 p.m. Analyze the second problem. There are 48 girls and 80 boys which group separately. 
Each group have the same number of children. What is the largest possible number of children in each group? To answer the problem, use the rules in getting the GCF. Step 1 is write the given numbers in horizontal line. 48 girls and 80 boys. 48 and 80 are divisible by 2. 48 divided by 2 equals 24. 80 divided by 2 equals 40. 24 and 40 are divisible by 2. 24 divided by 2 equals 12. 40 divided by 2 equals 20. 12 and 20 are divisible by 2. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. And 20 divided by 2 equals 10. 6 and 10 are divisible by 2. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. And 10 divided by 2 equals 5. And now, multiply. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 16. Therefore, the largest possible number of girls in group is 16. And now, let's move to learning task 2. Solve each problem using the application of LCM and GCF. Number 1. Let's analyze the problem. In art class, Mrs. Lucia had 36 sheets of green paper and 42 sheets of blue paper. If Mrs. Lucia wanted to give an equal number of each type of paper, how many sheets of paper should each pupil get? To answer the problem, use the rules in getting the GCF. First step is, write the given numbers in horizontal line. 36 sheets of green paper and 42 sheets of blue paper. 36 and 42 are divisible by 2. 36 divided by 2 equals 18. 42 divided by 2 equals 21. 18 and 21 are divisible by 3. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. 21 divided by 3 equals 7. And now, multiply 2 times 3. 2 times 3 equals 6. Therefore, each pupil should get 6 sheets of paper. For learning task 3, solve each problem using the application of LCM and GCF. Let's analyze the problem. Louise picked 40 tomatoes in the morning and 48 eggplants in the afternoon. She wants to put them equal in the plastic bags. What is the largest number of vegetables that he can put in plastic bags? To answer the problem, use the rules in getting the GCF. Step 1, write the given numbers in horizontal line. 40 tomatoes and 48 eggplants. 40 and 48 are divisible by 2. 40 divided by 2 equals 20. 48 divided by 2 equals 24. 20 and 24 are divisible by 2. 20 divided by 2 equals 10. 24 divided by 2 equals 12. 10 and 12 are divisible by 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. And now, multiply 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. Therefore, the largest number of vegetables is 8. In solving problems, we take into consideration the following. Number 1, what do I know? Number 2, what do I need to find out? And number 3, what is my plan? This will help you to answer the different problems that you will encounter. And for our last activity, Learning Task 4, apply the LCM and GCF in solving the word problems below. Number 1. Mary has two pieces of cloth. One piece is 72 inches wide and the other piece is 90 inches wide. She wants to cut both pieces into strips of equal width that are as wide as possible. 
How wide should she cut the strips? To answer the problem, use the rules in getting the GCF. First rule, write the given numbers in horizontal line. 72 inches and 90 inches. 72 and 90 are divisible by 2. 72 divided by 2 equals 36. 90 divided by 2 equals 45. 36 and 45 are divisible by 3. 36 divided by 3 equals 12. 45 divided by 3 equals 15. 12 and 15 are divisible by 3. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. And 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Next is multiply 2 times 3 times 3 equals 18. Therefore, she should cut the strips 18 inches wide. Number 2. Jerwin exercises every 12 days and Nikki every 8 days. Jerwin and Nikki both exercise today. How many days will be until they exercise together again? To answer the problem, use the rules in getting the LCM. Step 1. Write the given numbers in horizontal line. 12 days exercise for Jerwin and 8 days exercise for Nikki. 12 and 8 are divisible by 2. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 6 and 4 are divisible by 2. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. And now, get the LCM by multiplying 2 times 2 times 3 times 2. 2 times 2 times 3 times 2 equals 24. Therefore, it will be 24 days until they exercise together again. And number 3, Sian has 8-inch pieces of toy train truck and Ruth has 18-inch pieces of train truck. How many of each piece would each child need to build trucks that are equal in length? To answer the problem, Use the rules in getting the LCM. 8 inches and 18 inches. 8 and 18 are divisible by 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. And now, multiply. 2 times 4 times 9 equals 72. Number of small trucks equals 72 divided by 8 equals 9. Number of big trucks equals 72 divided by 18 equals 4. Therefore, Sian need 9 smaller trucks and 4 bigger trucks. Remember, in solving problems, we take into consideration the following. First, what do I know? Second, what do I need to find out? And third, what is my plan? This will help you to answer the different problems that you will encounter. So kids, are your answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!